A few episodes back I was talking about uh, multiplying the plants. If you make some sort of fence and fill that fence with a, an earth, the plant that is in that earth will make a root. The neighbor fell some trees and when doing that it actually destroyed my property. Let's say this is some sort of fence and I've put a earth inside and those branches have now made roots. I will take this out and we will transplant it to the backyard. These I use because I don't want to uh, cut the, you know, the bush, the food, when I cut the, the, the grass around. This is just to prevent the cutting. Okay, this is our plant. We remove the earth. And those are the roots, I hope you can see, those are the roots that grow from the, the stem, the branches actually. And this was, this was one plant initially when I bought it. One plant, now we're gonna get a few of them. And this is how you get many plants from one. From two plants and now I got eight plants. Or maybe ten. Or maybe more.
Alrighty, we are done with sandblasting and I just want to show I uh, involuntarily introduced some debris into the blasting media that is into the blasting sand and that is a small pieces of uh, dried leaves plant leaves and they do a mess while sand blasting not sure if we can see anything but there are little brown dots which when you wipe them turn into I don't know dark spots oh here it is if we can capture this those you see lesson learned it is not good to do sandblasting outside where it is very easy to introduce the unwanted debris into uh, sand blasting medium sand. I will clean this with a degreaser. I also figured out when you're finished with spray painting you have to turn the, the spray can around and let and spray for some uh, time until there is no spray coming out just a mostly air and that cleans the nozzle which I have only figured yesterday I will try to demonstrate this cleaning at the end but I cannot uh, talk while I have a mask on my face the cleaning with the greaser that's aceton Acetone, I don't know how it's called uh, in English, acetone, I guess, actually did quite a good job and cleaned very nicely those uh, stains. Here they were most obvious and now it's very very nice clean area. Alright, let's paint. This is how you clean the spray. Clean. We used four sprays, but I was clumsy and I dropped this one and it broke right here. And there is, I don't know, one third or one, one quarter left inside. So basically we used three sprays and a half. I used neat retainer to, uh, to decrease and to clean. And now recapitulation of our sandblasting. Here are the three mediums that I used and this one is, is like I bought together with a sandblasting pistol and this one costs 18 euros and it is 25 kilos the granulation is 80 i don't know 80 what but hey they are like sort of beach sand very fine beach sand and granulation is 0 0.063 uh, up to one millimeters Oh, they're also both 25 kilos and this one is white color this one is plain sand color and both of those cost below 3 euros for this and below 3 euros for this one and those of course those two needed to be uh, dried because they have a lot of moisture in it this one this one was dry uh, from the, the bag and how did it perform well those two by my opinion performed better than this one but this is just my humble opinion mm -hmm.